The first Samsung OLED TV using a white OLED panel from LG Display has been leaked. If you search the online database of the National Radio Research Agency which certifies telecommunications equipment in South Korea, you will find a new OLED television that has received official certification from the government organization at the beginning of this month. Now, I don't speak much Korean beyond Anyo Hesayo and Kamsa Hamida, but using the magic of Google Translate, we can see that this is a new 83-inch OLED TV that's manufactured by Samsung Electronics. Given that QD OLED panels from Samsung Display are only available in 55, 65, and 77-inch screen sizes this year for TVs, there is no doubt whatsoever in my mind that this 83-inch Samsung OLED TV will be equipped with a white OLED panel, also known as WRGB OLED panel from LG Display confirming the news broken by Reuters last month. Now, the interesting thing about this new Samsung WRGB OLED TV is that it will use the same model number as the company's S90C QD OLED televisions, which means that Samsung Electronics won't be creating a new model range, for example an S80C or S85C, to differentiate between OLED TVs using a QD OLED panel from Samsung Display and those using a WRGB OLED panel from LG Display. It's just like the Avengers. The members are not explicitly divided into those with superhuman abilities and those without superpowers. Sorry Hawkeye and Black Widow. To be fair, this has been Samsung Electronics' master plan all along. The company has always marketed its QD OLED televisions as OLED rather than the more accurate and specific QD OLED to avoid being pinned into a corner. And this makes perfect business sense from Samsung's point of view for a few reasons. 1. Introducing a new model number specifically for WRGB OLED would divert attention away from the company's more profitable Neo QLED Mini LED TV range. 2. Because the initial purchase of WRGB OLED panels from LG Display is for larger 77-inch and 83-inch panels, creating an entirely new model range would shine a spotlight on the screen size limitations of QD OLED panels. In case you are not already aware, Samsung Display currently only manufactures QD OLED panels in 55-inch, 65-inch, and 77-inch screen sizes for TVs, as well as 34-inch and 49-inch ultra-wide form factors for monitors, whereas the more established WRGB OLED panels from LG Display come in more screen sizes, such as 83 inches, which could be the driving force behind Samsung Electronics' deal with LG Display in the first place, not to mention 48-inch, 42-inch, and even 27-inch OLED panels, the last of which is found in the LG Ultra Gear 27GR95QE monitor. Talking of which, LG is running an epic setup showdown event for those of you who already own either the LG Ultra Gear 27GR95QE or 45GR95QE. Simply make a short video showcasing your unique Ultra Gear setup, post it on Instagram or YouTube Shorts or directly submit this video at the link which I've put in the YouTube description below. The top 5 setups chosen will each receive an LG Ultra Gear gaming pad worth a cool $200 to match your cutting edge Ultra Gear monitor. But if you're among the 10 runners up, don't worry, you're still walking away with an Amazon gift card. So what are you waiting for? Whip out your phone, start filming, and show us what you've got. Good luck everyone. Okay, from a financial standpoint, because non-MLA WRGB OLED panels are generally cheaper than QD OLED panels however slightly, selling WRGB OLEDs and QD OLEDs within the same model range should generate more profit than creating a lower tier exclusively for WRGB OLED TVs. However, Samsung's approach may herald the introduction of OLED panel lottery, at least as far as the S90C series is concerned. Of course, the 83-inch Samsung S90C will definitely be a WRGB OLED, since QD OLED is not available in 83 inches, but considering that LG Display will also be supplying 77-inch WRGB OLED panels to Samsung Electronics initially, 
Consumers like you and me may face a situation where you won't know if you'll get a QD OLED panel or a WRGB OLED panel if you buy a Samsung S90C OLED, hence panel lottery. If you are able to personally cast your eyes on a Samsung S90C unit before committing to a purchase, then there are a few surefire methods to tell if it uses a QD OLED or a WRGB OLED panel. The easiest way is by shining a light on the screen when the TV is off. You can simply use the torch on your mobile phone. If the screen turns very grey when hit by light, then it's going to be a QD OLED panel. Since current QD OLED display technology precludes the use of a polarizing film which may lead to accidental activation of the quantum dots, if the areas surrounding direct reflections from the light remains fairly black, then it's using a WRGB OLED panel. At this point, it certainly won't be MLA, because the higher cost of MLA OLED panel means that no manufacturer will be foolish enough to sell both QD OLED and MLA OLED TV, which will just result in cannibalization of sales with little to no gains. Assuming there's panel lottery for the 77-inch or even 55 and 65-inch Samsung S90C, Another fairly straightforward method to determine if it's QD OLED or WRGB OLED is by taking a macro shot of the TV's subpixel structure. You don't even need to buy a handheld microscope. Just use the camera on your smartphone, zoom in to the highest magnification while maintaining focus, and take a photo with some bright content on screen. If the red, green, and blue subpixels are arranged in a triangular fashion, then it's QD OLED. Otherwise, it's WRGB OLED. Of course, there are many other ways to tell if an OLED TV is using a QD OLED or a WRGB OLED panel, but these either involve playing some sort of content you are familiar with on the TV, or using an expensive spectroradiometer to capture the spectral power distribution, so analyzing the subpixels or doing a flashlight test, as in using a torch. It's undoubtedly more convenient if an electrical store is kind enough to let you run a quick test on the specific unit you're intending to buy. However, before you splash out on a 2023 OLED TV, you might want to consider saving some money by buying some of last year's OLED models which are 97% as good, as I've demonstrated in an explanation video you can watch by clicking here.